How do they contribute to your spiritual practice? Hi, I'm Reverend Ali Bierman. I'm so glad you could join me here today. You can find me over at metaphysicalministryinternational.com. So what's a metaphysical ministry? It's all about how the world actually works, reminding you, you are a spiritual, a divine spirit living a human experience, and there really is no such thing as time or distance or space or boundaries that all is one, we're all the same energy, we're all connected, and how you create your world comes entirely from your thoughts, the feelings and beliefs you connect to them. I start every week with a happy share. So my happy share this week is I got my garden and everything put away, took out all my vegetables before the frost got to be daily, and I was able to take my furniture in from outdoors, the kind of stuff that shouldn't be outdoors. And why is that cool? Because I rearranged my books. I put all my spiritual books to right here, right next to me, instead of on the shelf on the other side. I read them every day. I refer to them every day. Now I wanted to share something with you. I used to move often, and half of my moving truck was always books. I love books. I've loved books all my life. A quick aside, books in the home promote smarter kids. Even if parents don't read the books to the kids, the kids will find them, they're exposed to them, it's a habit they will grow up with. So be sure you have books in your home, not just for the kids, for you. So when I moved, I actually got rid of 400 books. I used to have six huge bookcases jam-packed with books. Now I have four bookcases and they're not quite as tall. I have a whole lot fewer books, so what books did I keep? Well, mainly, like I said right here, my spiritual, my cultural books, all about Eastern philosophies, all about Western philosophies, all about Native American ways of living. Also, the things that I enjoy reading for fun, books that let me smile and laugh out loud. I'm an artist, and I love art. I have shelves and shelves of the world's art and the stories behind them. Now, obviously, those are my tastes. What's your taste? Do you know that 51% of the books bought today, they don't come from Amazon. They come from bookstores. They come from going to your Walmart, even in your grocery store, in your big box stores. They're kind of sold everywhere because reading is something that's never going to die. Now what I do, I have a fabulous library system where I live. I can borrow any book from any New York City public library and I can borrow all kinds of things online. So I start with my local libraries, with the New York City libraries. I'll read the book that way first, or I'll listen to it, or I'll do both. And if I say, whoa, this is something I'm going to want to review and review and review, then I'll buy it. And maybe, well, what I like to do is I like to have a copy I hold in my hand. And I like to also have the audio copy. And I can go back and forth. I can listen while I'm reading it. And I can go back and forth, and it keeps track of where I am. S well, that's if you have a digital book. <laughs> when it's a paperback, like I was doing last night, I had to go flipping through the pages to match where I was and what I was listening to. But the point is, whatever format you like your book in, you can get it. It's available, and you don't have to buy everything. I got a deal for you. This video is brought to you by Audible.com. They're the audiobook people, and you can get a free download, a free book, and a 30-day free trial over at audibletrial.com forward slash capital A-L-I capital B. I encourage you to go over there and do that. I belong to a number of book groups. 
And you know what? There are some books that are classics. How did I get rid of 400 books? They weren't the classics. They weren't books I was going to read again. The books I'm going to keep reading, like I said, it's the spiritual books, it's the art books, it's the books that make me smile and let me feel good. The books I got are threw away. I wouldn't throw them away. I donated them, gave them to friends. And those were books on different kinds of fads. So health fads come and go, diets come and go. Some popular books, well, they're okay to read through, but they weren't things I ever felt I need to go back to. Now, I belong to book clubs. The other day, we just read Huckleberry Finn, The Avengers of Huckleberry Finn. I hadn't read that in decades. Do you know Norman Mailer considers it to be the best American novel ever written? And I belong to a Shakespeare group. Do you know this stuff applies to all time? It applies to our lives now. And as a metaphysical minister, I especially like introducing people to a different way of reading the books, of seeing the stories, of the experiences shared in the books and plays. So what are you going to read this week or listen to or both? Why don't you go ahead and tell us? And I look forward to seeing you here next time. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. You'll find me at metaphysicalministryinternational.com. If you haven't done so already, pick up the gift I have for you, how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I wish you a week filled with blessings.